My name's Rory Pilgrim. I'm originally from the UK, but here based in Rotterdam. Uh, as an artist, I work with performance, music, collaboration, and I'm passionate about social engaged art practice. As an artist, I feel it's unavoidable not to touch things which, first of all, directly affect me, but also things which um, I'm concerned about. For me, the macro and the micro are just as um, interchangeable to deal with something which is very, very complex. I'm interested in amplifying that complexity by looking at the individual and how what is affecting a person and how it is part of their life. Often it's said that actions speak louder than words, but what happens if we don't have the words to create the right actions? And these last few years, I feel, as someone coming from a specific generation, that we don't have the same words that other generations have had. These words like peace, words like even love, that it's, it, has, it is so full with meaning, can be used as a, a kind of real action, a method of action, um, because we don't trust words often. I'm passionate about trying to reclaim words, how we think if we don't, what happens if we don't have them, can we kind of cure or heal them from their past histories. We can't often do that as singular generations, so intergenerational dialogue and trying to create a kind of broad intersectional um, series of meanings, because words never mean just one thing. The way that I work with people is very, uh, intimate. In an age of social media where we expect everything to be public, I'm, I feel it's very important to actually provide spaces in which things we might not share or share in different ways um, are given a space. So working in private, in safe spaces, um, this is often uh, the start of how I work and when I might do an exhibition or a commission those spaces, those exhibition places become the sites in which people come together or if I'm not working in a specific uh, institutional context we go and look and find spaces which are important for those people Stop! Discrimination! Cronyism! Scream louder your words. Um, so privacy is one thing which I f feel quite passionate about. And um, I often work over quite a long and intensive period in arriving at a point in which something which someone might share in private and has the space to work through, that we come to a moment in which that will be shared publicly important that I get people who um, come because they feel the need to be part of that. It's not about uh, a kind of uh, recruitment um, in the way that I am trying to sort of desperately trying to get something out of people. It has to be mutual. So often I put up things like open calls, um, I put things on the radio, to come and discuss or be part of something which m might resonate with their life. Black, white, tiny, fat, whatever race you are, we are in this together. I never work with scripts, I never work with, um, I find it even very difficult to rehearse things because I always want to try and arrive at a moment um, which is in some ways quite delicate and fragile but, um, but really gets people to be able to communicate in a way which we don't often see or have the spaces to.
Um, for the last three years I've been concentrating on a film trilogy called Sacred Repositories, which language and space is at the heart of. Um, the three films look at a different series of spaces and how people use them and put their words inside. And the film at Tent, which I will show, is the second film, Affection is the Best Protection, which is looking at three different commu uh, queer communities and how um, space plays a function in dealing with um, a set of basically uh, questions which are universal. We live in social media, these echo chambers where we just reinforce people who we surround ourselves with. So I'm constantly trying to kind of create spaces in which we amplify this notion of who is there and who is not there. And of course in the exhibition, the people that I have worked with aren't there. Some of them aren't even seen. So um, in the same way that my performances bring people together, this space brings together a series of voices who cannot be there but you feel their physical presence.